So the first game we have on the docket for the NES Chronicles is 10 Yard Fight. To the best of my knowledge, it is in fact the first football game uh, to be released on the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. And it's pretty basic. Uh, a high school team, a college team, a professional team, a playoff team, and a Super Bowl team to choose from. Them. And I had actually originally thought that this meant that I would be playing in the Super Bowl. So I didn't mess around. I went straight for the uh, kill, as it were, and decided the Super Bowl is what I want to do. We're going to get this done. We're going to win it all. And so that's what we're doing starting out here. In fact, really, we're actually playing with a difficulty at Super Bowl level, which I'll address later. So right now, I don't know if I'm on defense, if I'm returning the ball. I can't really control anything as far as I can tell. This could have something to do with the Super NES controller I'm using. I might have to switch controllers here in a second. <clears throat> as you can see, the controls are, uh, for lack of a better word, pretty atrocious. You know, it's almost like playing foosball in that uh, a lot of times when you're returning the ball, or really every time when you're returning the ball, you're moving every character around and just trying to protect the one guy carrying in the middle. But here, uh, when you're playing on offense, you've got the option of uh, pitching the ball, passing the ball, basically left or right with B or A. Uh, and so, again, it's pretty basic when you compare it to things that we've got today. But at the same time, it's actually kind of intuitive. You know, I found myself figuring things out without really having to look up any instructions. And for a game that's, you know, basically as old as I am, I think I was something like three years old when this was released, that's actually pretty respectable. You know, you can see here that it's pretty easy to break away. Right there, I just scored a touchdown without even really half trying. And this is supposed to be on Super Bowl difficulty. Uh, so that's a little problematic. But I can see this as being the sort of game that people would, you know, get together and hang out and just start playing it without even really uh, thinking about going through something like a season. Again, the sort of things that define football games today. This is really just more of a pick-up-and-play arcade-style football game. Uh, and it's kind of hilarious in that when you're actually playing it and running, it sounds like little hash marks are being ticked off, and it feels like you're running in slow motion. And in fact, at first I didn't even know I was actually running until I saw the numbers slowly shifting downward uh, as I sort of moved along the field. So as you can see here, things are really starting to heat up. I'm up by uh, four points. The computer, as indicated by the C, managed to kick a field goal which is as simple as moving a little blue dot along the end zone and pull it lines up with the field goal and then pushing a button so that the ball is automatically kicked. So again, there's not really a whole lot of skill involved with that aspect of the game. Uh, but you can see here what I was talking about earlier, the food ball sort of mentality in motion. So you can see uh, half time's over, the second half is gone, I'm up 14 to 3. But things are about to get a little bit crazy. You know, I'm getting as frustrated with this at certain points as I am with uh, more contemporary football games, and I'm not sure what that says about me personally, uh, but what it does mean is that it's time to sit up straight in my chair to pay attention and to really uh, turn up the heat, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. Sorry, that was kind of anticlimactic. Uh, right when I started sweating profusely there, I actually won the game. And as I said earlier, I thought it was a Super Bowl game, but it was on Super Bowl difficulty. So now I'm going to the Super Bowl. And as you can see, the score is 0-0. Zero zero. And we'll all just assume that I won this by a fairly large margin, and that'll be good enough. So, like I said, 10-yard fight for what it is is actually a pretty decent little football game. You know, it's engaging, and it's a little tough. So I'm going to stick here with, I don't know, what do you think? One star? Does it deserve more than one star? Let's give it two. I think we'll give it two. And actually, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and give it three stars out of five. Um, again, for being the very first football game ever released on the Nintendo, I thought it was actually pretty darn good, though it does certainly have faults when compared to today's games. Uh, so that's pretty much it for my review. 
a 10 yard fight. Uh, very soon, I'll pick back up with 1942, the next game on the list, and hopefully that will be released within the next uh, week or so. So thanks for watching.